Crouch. Bind. Set. It's at the feet of Jordy Murphy and another very solid scrum for Ireland. And in fact, it's inching forward. They're turning what they thought might be a disadvantage into an advantage. And the referee agrees. That's right. And after five minutes That's of the right. second half, there's a moment that maybe many didn't expect Green to see. Dominance. I think it's a strength. huge psycho uh, psychological moment in this game. Mike Ross just watching there. Great pressure on Joe Marler, who did a number on him. Peter O'Mahony going in, giving him a little bit of help as well. Uh, but the collective worth of the Irish scrum there, uh, really doing well. And you can see the confidence lifting England, an area, as we mentioned, that they would have expected to dominate. They're getting absolutely no change from it. And that's uh, superb collective work from the Irish front five. it back in order to secure possession. Mike Ross is asked to carry. I'm happy there, Toner okay, thank you. Provides the security. And Murray sends the kick for Bow to chase. Knocked forward by Noel. And what is green? Advantage to Ireland. Devin Toner has it. Finapola in after the ball again, but it's there for Ireland. Is Here's Sexton. Little kick in behind. Zebo's after this one. England go across the bounce of the ball. Is into the arms of Watson, but Zebo flips him. And Ireland go pouring over and do so legally. And the ball should be there on O'Connell. In he goes. An England counter. Two heavyweights throwing punches. And Ireland throw another and go around the corner. And Bo is there, and Ireland about seven metres away. Murray can see it, McGrath sets himself, Ross is there, Jordy Murphy leaves it, it's there for Conor Murray, there's almost nothing out wide, so Rory Best goes back inside, England have got their line out wide, Peter O'Mahony looks a bit isolated to me, as Ireland go in search of the ball again, and Murray just about gets a hold of it, through the as middle, England stop. goes through the middle, through the middle and that's legal. It's still there, Ross for Best. Sexton, Payne, Sexton, Carney steps back in, was that high? Yes, it was. Advantage Ireland, they'll kick over the top, good, hit shot! Oh, terrific! Yeah. The young man may have made a yeah. mighty difference. Yeah, you're in the front, it looked like England top. had it covered, but he came and he left and he claimed. And the TMO will be the final arbiter. Well, the only question here is, did he ground it in play? Was it on uh, on the line? But what a kick from Conor Murray. He knew he had advantage. He looked at Robbie Henshaw. He signalled in advance what he was doing. Just watch, watch Murray here. No. He wins it in the air. Try. We have to see the ball. The angle from behind. The one that behind, this is the one. It's good. But Henshaw with the momentum, and does he hold on? He does. Yeah, great oh, try. Well done, Robbie Henshaw, because he had work to do. Those are all the angles. And didn't he do it well? Looks like a try to me. He may have worked a try. Well, that's a hugely significant score now. Henshaw, he's entitled to smile. He's had a fantastic game, really growing into that jersey. And... Uh, you know, I'm sure he'll have a chat with Conor Murray afterwards because that was a brilliant kick. First international try. And it comes in the Six Nations against England at the Aviva Stadium and it makes a monumental difference to that scoreline in a game that is this tight in terms of the inches being not given on either side. Opportunities are precious. And here's the conversion attempt from Jonathan Sexton.
one point to three. I look at the kick from Murray again under severe pressure, but Henshaw and uh, Alex Good has really had a fine game, but he had his back to the ball. Henshaw, another who's had a, an upbringing in Gaelic football, and you can see what a difference that made. Brilliant score.